Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Service YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to install Cloud Radius Server using Free Radius and Dialog Radius on Google Cloud Platform. So from the description box, come to this link, which is a marketplace listing for Google Cloud, and then click on this launch button to actually launch a new virtual machine with this particular image. After that, you would be brought to this configuration page from where you need to give yourself or give your virtual machine a deployment name and then choose a region or zone where you want to deploy that virtual machine. After that, scroll down and choose the machine type according to your requirements and also the disk space and the disk type according to your requirements as well. Finally, simply scroll down to the bottom and click on the deploy button. After that, you simply need to wait for the whole deployment process to fully complete. Now, once the deployment process is done, the next step is to actually connect to a virtual machine using an SSH connection. Now, for that, simply click on this SSH button. Now, doing this is going to open up this window, which is going to be our SSH terminal connected to the virtual machine. So, wait for the connection to be fully established. Now, once you're inside the virtual machine, the very first step that you want to do is that you want to set up MySQL for free radius. Now, to do that, simply click the link in the description box to come to this blog post, which is basically a step by step guide on how to install Cloud Radius. And all of the commands that I'm going to use in this tutorial are going to be copied from this blog post. So, the very first thing is to run the MySQL secure installation command. So, copy that and paste it inside the SSH terminal. And then hit enter. Now, it is going to ask you for the current root password. Now, the current root password is blank, so simply hit enter. After that, it is going to ask you if you want to set up a root password. So, simply click on yes and then hit enter and then provide a password for MySQL. Now, once that is done, you can go along with the configuration or the wizard to complete the secure installation of MySQL. Now, once we have gone through the secure installation, the next step is to create a database for free radius. Now, for that, simply type in this command inside the SSH terminal. To open up the shell of MySQL, type in your password. And once you're inside the shell, you're going to simply copy all of these commands, which are going to basically create a database named as radius and then provide a password, which is this one to that particular database. Now, once that is done, the next step is to actually import the free radius schema. Now, for that, simply head over to the blog post and copy this command which is going to basically stop the service of free radius and you can actually verify that by simply typing in the sudo systemctl status free radius command that it has stopped working so as you can see that it says inactive right over here now what you're going to do is that you're going to head over to the root user by typing in the sudo su command and after that you're going to type in this command to import the free radius schema type in the password for the mysql database and once that is done, you can confirm that the schema has been imported by simply copying this command and pasting it inside the SSH terminal. Now, what you want to do next is to create a soft link. For that, simply head over to the blog post, copy this command, paste it inside the command prompt, the SSH terminal and then hit enter. After that, you're going to open up the configuration file in the nano editor using this command. And after that, you're simply going to open up the free radius MySQL file using this command. And within this file, you're going to change this dialect option to MySQL instead of SQLite. And after that, scroll down to the driver option and comment out this driver with the null at the end and uncomment the driver which has dialect inside it. To uncomment, simply remove this hash symbol from the start of this sentence. Now after that, scroll down to this MySQL section and then what you're going to do is that you're going to comment out all of this section under the TLS heading. Now to comment this, simply place a hash symbol before every line. After that, scroll down to connection info and uncomment these four lines. After that, make sure that the server is set to localhost, the port number is set to 3306 and the login is set to the database name that you have created in the secure installation. And the password is also the one that you had created in the MySQL secure installation. After that, scroll down even more and make sure that this statement which is read client is equal to yes is uncommented. Once that is done, simply hit Ctrl and O to save the file and Ctrl X to exit from the file. Now once that is done, the next step is to actually change the group permissions of the SQL module. For that, head back to the blog post, copy both of these commands and paste them inside the SSH terminal. After that, simply start the service of free radius. For that, simply copy this command and paste it inside the SSH terminal. 
and then you can check the status by using the status command in the system CTL. So currently the free radius is in an active state. So now you have successfully installed free radius. Now the next step is to actually install the GUI which is the dialog radius. Now for that head back to the blog post and copy all of these commands to download the dialog radius and to install it one by one into the SSH terminal. Now once you have done that, the next step is to import the database schema for dialog radius. For that simply copy this command and paste it inside the SSH terminal. And lastly, simply type in the password of your database and then type mysql show and then radius which is the name of your database. So now you can see that the database schema has been imported for dialog radius. Now the next step is to actually change the configuration file of dialog radius and provide in the login details for our database. So the very first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to create a copy of the configuration file by using this command inside the SSH terminal and then we're going to open up the configuration file by using this command and after that we're going to simply scroll down to this section and we're going to simply provide the database user as the name of the user that we had created which in our case is actually radius. After that, we are going to simply type in the password that we had created during the MySQL secure installation. Now once that is done, simply hit Ctrl O and enter to save this file and Ctrl X to exit from this file. Now the next step is to actually change the ownership of the dialog radius folder or directory. For that simply type in all of these commands inside the SSH terminal one by one. Now at this point you have successfully configured your dialog radius. Now the next step is to actually visit the dialog radius portal. Now for that simply head back over to Google Cloud and move over to Compute Engine. After that simply copy the external IP address, paste it inside a new tab and at the end of the IP address simply append dialog radius forward slash login.php and then hit enter. Now it is going to ask you for the login username and the password. Now by default the username is administrator and the password is radius all small after that simply click on this button that says login please and you would be logged inside your dialog radius gui connected to your free radius installed on google cloud platform now that also brings us to the end of this tutorial now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible and make sure to check out the links in the description box for the step-by-step -step blog post guide and also for the marketplace listing for google cloud and finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.